Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and the last episode of our Light Matica series. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed it so far, and we'll be cracking right into it. Make sure to leave questions down below in the comments. So for those of you who've been following along with this search series, the this area looks familiar because this is the schematic we've been working with. So I had a mishap with the build command because I didn't have a specific subregion selected. So I made a new one just to show y'all how this works. First, you're gonna hold Alt and middle click with your tool on a block you wanna fill an area with. I have cobblestone selected. Then you press your execute operation key and it will fill the entire area. And again, if you don't have a specific subregion selected, but you do have a area selected, like the, this one right here, it will fill all the subregions within it. I discovered that, be careful. Our second creative feature is this replace block command. Now, this one works similar to the fill command, but you also need to use the shift key. So if you hold shift and middle click, it's going to replace the block you've selected. I've selected blue concrete. Then if you hold alt and middle click, it'll you select the block you want to change it to, and then execute operation key, and your blocks will be replaced. In this case, I had a blue concrete block here. I selected the purple block and replaced it. Our next creative feature is the delete command. The delete command basically just wipes out everything in a subregion or an area. So with an area or subregion selected, you can press down and enter, which is my key binding for the execute operation, and it will delete everything in that area. Be very careful with it, obviously, because you can wipe out a lot, and once again, like with the fill command, if you don't have a specific subregion selected, but you do have a specific area, like this one right here, you will wind up deleting all of these subregions. Next feature that is available in both creative and survival is the edit schematic selection. This is mode 9, and basically it just allows you to directly edit any schematic you would like. You can delete and or place blocks as will. Um, it just places them in the visualization, so this makes it easy to kind of plan out a build, if you will. The other component of this is you can also directly change a large number of blocks. So this requires you to set a key binding to select a block, and if you alt and up, like I have for mine, it will change all that. And right here are the two uh, most important key bindings for the edit mode. So you have the schematic re rebuild replace all. I have this set to alt up. This will change all the blocks of the specific type you are looking at. And then the rebuild replace direction. This just allows you to kind of like rotate a stair, right? change a trap door to being open or closed. Very simple thing, but super important if you're trying to do large scale edits. So in the Lightmatica menu, you have your key binding settings. This is under hotkeys and there are a lot of them that are super important. One of the most important of these, in my opinion, is the execute operation. Now, this one is not directly bound when you first get it, so what I bind it to is down and keypad enter. You can set this to anything you'd like, obviously, but I would advise doing something that's kind of out of the way, and make sure to use multiple keys that we are not accidentally doing major edits all of a sudden. There are several other things that you can do with this, such as changing all the blocks in a schematic or changing other. Lamatica has a good number of settings that are very beneficial for you to go ahead and look at. Now, most of them you won't really edit. Um, some of these are, for instance, easy place vanilla reach. I always set this to true just in case the server tries to kick me. Um, you have place and clone and other minor edits. But the most important, in my opinion, is the tool item. So what I do is I rename it to a specific item name rather than just using a normal stick. So right here is the text that you have to add. Behind that is a open bracket display colon, open bracket name colon, and then you would enter this bit here to directly say what you want to call. I just call it lit mat, and you can name any stick in the anvil with lit mat, and it will work. And this text will also be included in the description of the video, so make sure to just go look down there. So when I'm working with Lightmatica, some of the things that I that I would also make sure to check is always look at how these overlay settings are set and make sure that they're put in a way that works best for you. 
So this might be the alignment of various items. You also have your info HUDs and your status info HUDs. Each one of these are very important. Make sure to check these settings out and adjust them to what fits you best. I actually have almost all mine set to default because they are pretty good. Something I would also suggest is when you're working with the ghost blocks and also the overall just all the all of the visuals, set your uh, schematic visuals to a higher alpha value. This basically just makes everything a little bit more see-through than normal. That way you're not randomly falling through blocks. So for those of you who are a bit more artistic, or maybe you would need more information from like Matica than was currently in the game, I would suggest going ahead and going through and editing these color values. That way you're not having to question what each item is. Maybe I want to take and I want to adjust overlay color wrong block. And let's say we want to change it to the negative purple 5D to F 9D. And then they have two extra values. These are your alpha values. So we will just go AA. And there you go. Interesting. Not the color I want. If you're working with Lightmatica, it is important when you're building to work with this rendered layer setting. So it can cycle through single layers, your large lar layer range, all below, all above, and just the single layer. You can adjust the axis as well. All these are, can be set by hotkeys, so go ahead and search through there. I typically have things set to the home button, and by default, page up, page down will directly change your layers as well as the same edit button that you found in the config menus in our first episode. And that is uh, the end of our episode on Light Matter. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this series, and I hope that it will be beneficial to y'all as I start using this in other series on the channel. Make sure to tune in next week, as I've got a really cool announcement on something I've been working on over the last month.